Holding Court is presented by Nick Robert Gallo. Looking to buy or sell a home? Visit nickrobertgallo.com for all of your real estate needs. What's up guys? Welcome to another Holding Court video. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my proposal to make the NHL All-Star Game uh, watchable for probably the first time in who knows how many years. So first and foremost, one of the big problems with the NHL All-Star Game that a lot of fans and a lot of hockey media point out is these guys, the players, they don't really give a shit, right? A lot of these guys are buddies off the ice, they're spending All-Star Weekend drinking together, they don't care. So if the players don't care, how are you going to get the fans to care? I have a little proposal here I think would help out the All-Star Game a lot. And that includes the skills competition too. The skills competition in the All-Star Game used to kick ass. You think of Owen Nolan pointing to the net and scoring. You think of Ray Bork as a defenseman winning the accuracy shooting. You know, Fedorov, Bure, Bondra in the, in the fastest skater competition. And then you look at it now and, and you're like, what happened? What is this? I mean, you watch it this year and Mitch Marner's dressed up like Miami Vice and that's supposed to be like funny or entertaining. Like what the hell happened? All this extra shit. The, the skills competition and the All-Star game are supposed to draw attention to the sport and its players and the skill. When you're doing all this goofy side shit, it's almost like a admission that you don't feel the talent and the skill is enough to get people to watch. So you have to have guys, you know, fucking doing somersaults and all this stupid shit. Just get back to what made it watchable and fun when it was. My original idea for All-Star Weekend was to have the NHL All-Stars face off against the KHL All-Stars. So you don't really have that buddy-buddy thing and there would now be a little competition. There would now be a little fire under guys' asses to play a competitive hockey game. Obviously now with the current uh, political climate, to think the NHL is gonna do anything with Russia right now is a pipe dream. They're most likely not. So my idea had to kind of be revised. With that said, the next best option for me would be the NHL All-Stars going up against the European All-Stars. And that would include all of the major professional leagues in Europe. With the Finnish League and the Swedish League, Czech, Switzerland, these are all great leagues. A lot of them having future NHL players or past NHL players, which brings me to my next point. So for the European All-Star team, I was thinking part of the team would be comprised of current NHL prospects and future NHL prospects who haven't even yet been drafted. As an example, a guy like Leo Carlson, who's probably going to be a top three, four pick in this year's NHL draft. This would give fans an opportunity to watch guys who they normally don't get to see, who are right on the brink of becoming NHL players. Another part of the team would be comprised of, once again, guys that most hockey fans would be familiar with, past NHL prospects. A lot of times you have these highly, highly regarded NHL prospects who don't quite crack it in the NHL, most of the time they'll go back home to Europe and play high level professional hockey and ball out and become, you know, stars in their respective country, but just couldn't quite make it in the NHL. But a lot of these guys' fans will still recognize their names. Guys like Peter Mueller, who's playing in the Czech League. He was a highly regarded Arizona Coyotes prospect at one time. Guys like Magnus Pajarvi, who was a super high pick, a super highly regarded prospect, who's playing in Sweden now. So you have guys like Linus Omark, who was like just a very dangly skill machine who couldn't quite have his game translate at the NHL level, but he's an awesome European player. That guy has skills competition written all over him. And then the last and probably the best part of the team would be comprised of former NHL stars. You have guys in the Czech League alone, Thomas Placanis is still playing in the Czech League. He was a, a Montreal Canadiens leader and fan favorite and star player for many years. Yaramir Yager, the guy's a future NHL Hall of Famer. You don't think you'd get some asses out of seats having Yaramir Yager 
So as it is right now, the NHL All-Star Game is a popularity contest. Everyone knows it. And with this, my proposed kind of format, you could keep it a popularity contest. Yeah, Yager may not be the best player in his league, but get that guy over to the NHL All-Star Game and you'll be selling tickets and you'll be having people watching. In my opinion, this is a whole hell of a lot better than the current NHL All-Star Game, which you watch that thing and it is just one long death rattle of All-Star Hockey. I know the NHL is allergic to like doing cool shit and uh, you know, they're gonna like do all this lame stuff and probably have, you know, Nickelback playing the fucking intermission or whatever. So yeah, that's it guys. That's my proposal to make the NHL All-Star Game a whole hell of a lot better. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe you have some better ideas. Uh, maybe you wanna tweak this idea. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.